Holla holla, Claudine and I am here, and we are not recording from our normal camera position because today we're doing something a little fun. We are going to the movie theaters to see Frozen 2 because Miss Alessandra over here who is filming has not seen Frozen 2. So we decided um, that I'm gonna go to see Frozen 2 as Elsa. So we're gluing down my hair. We're gluing up my hair to put it into the wig cap. I'm gonna be doing a lot more wig tutorials on my channel because they're necessary. It's part of your daily life. It's part of my daily life and I love myself some wigs. Wigs are my true passion. I feel like they, they're more transformative. You could wear a wig and not wear makeup. Yeah. But you can't wear makeup and not wear a wig. I mean, <laughs> so my wig cap is on. I am now doing my makeup. I have not filmed a makeup tutorial since that Elsa tutorial I did here on YouTube. So it's been a minute. I mean, this is not a tutorial. I'm literally just kind of like giving all a BTS of me getting ready. But let me know in the comments below, should I do more like costume tutorials? Cause I know that I've been uploading so sporadically, but this year I wanna shift. I wanna start uploading once a week, giving y'all all the YouTube content like I used to. I know, I know that I've been slacking, um, but for good reason, you know, your girl's been depressed, <laughs> but so is that really good reason? It's not necessarily good reason, but it's a reason. And um, I don't know, I just wanna, I wanna give more to y'all. I wanna be doing more for y'all. So my makeup is almost finished. Um, I'm gonna have to paint on, Elsa has like, her dress is cascading into her skin. And the only costume that I have is from the Disney store and it's a kid's costume and it does not cascade into the skin. So what we're gonna do is we are going to try to paint on the icicles to make it look like it's on my skin. Um, taking some Gorilla Tape here and going across where I need the dress to stay. This is actually wall mounting tape and I'm praying that it sticks. So it's kind of coming off on the edge over here, but that's fine. Um, we're going to try to glue it. And pray that it stays all night like this. He's stoning my chest. Did that stick? Hmm? Did that stick? We'll find out. That was quick, oh my God. I'm sure y'all can't even see that, but there's two stones right there. Two little nippy titties. So now we are putting on the wig with Miss Alessandra. Hi. Okay, I'll like place her if you want to grab the bandana. Yeah. Mm. It is yellow this time. <laughs> so I had to put on this fur because it's really cold. Um, but it goes with the look, huh? The real queen of the ice and snow. Yeah. And stop at CVS because my head hurts so bad from this wig and the face tapes. Oh my god, it hurts so bad. Are you ready to go into girl? I'm pretty sure that's like a door. Like somebody could be right there. They could be right there all they want. There you go. So we are going to go into the movies. It's the unknown. Oh my god, yes. Hustler's Elsa. The top of the dress is kind of coming off right here, so we're just, you know, gonna cover that. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been this this way into the theater. Really? Is this really the unknown? Oh, Sam. I need to see the first one. What the hell? The movie theaters is literally empty.
Oh my god. So, what were your thoughts on Frozen 2? Um, it was amazing. Better than the first one. I love when a, a sequel, that's what yeah. sequel. Mm -hmm. sequel is better than the first. That's always what someone Always the achieved. best. Always, always, always the best. Literally, like, it made me need a multiverse. Disney princess multiverse. Absolutely. It was very Marvel movie-esque. Okay, I've, I've seen though. it, like, so many times. So I'm pretty sure this is my sixth time I've seen it. It's this my first time. It made me ball like a baby. Um, I love these uh, Elsa scarves that we got for free in the movie theater. <laughs> yes, love the Elsa scarves that we got for free in Wait, the movie what? theater. Yeah, the Elsa scarves. No, that yeah. was part of my costume, girl. <laughs> Do you want me to hold your phone? Sure, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, what flavors should I get? There is blue, blue frazzle, cherry, the bomb.com, pina colada, banana, and blueberry lemonade. I like the blue one, so. Oh. It's very on um, theme with your outfit. <laughs> <laughs> now what are you going to get? I am most likely going to get the cherry bomb and then the blue raspberry. Blue raspberry. We love this little blue. Little blue. blue. Ooh, ooh, saucy girl. It's on your classic. <laughs> love that for me. Sixteen dollars. I would never allow for that price in here. How you feel? <laughs> A little buttery. The straw is like cool, but I'm not a huge sour mm. fan. I, however, sours. it's good. I like it. It is a little watery at the bottom, but yeah, probably because we're here at like midnight. Yeah. <laughs> so I got to spend the day as Elsa, and I feel like a question that I don't get super frequently, but I know I used to wonder all the time is, what is it like to go out and look like a crazy bitch like that? Well. Let me tell y'all. So it's very rare. It happens, but it's very rare that someone says something insulting or derogatory towards me. Most of the time, it's just compliments. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, I love your shoes. I love your hair. Love your makeup. Um, it's very, very rare that there's anything negative. Um, are people staring? Yes, most likely. Regardless of why they're staring. Most of the time, people are staring because I have an extravagant outfit on. Like, I'm wearing a big blue fur or I'm wearing a really big bow, or I have two-toned hair. Like there's many reasons that people are staring. But I know for a lot of queer people, people who do drag or trans people who might be wondering, you know, am I clockable? Are people clocking me when I go out? Are people looking at me as a male in makeup? And that's why they're looking. That's definitely a possibility. Um, I feel like that's something that I don't know. I can't see through anybody else's eyes but my own and I'm really just trying to live my best life. So, I mean, not every time that I go out am I dressed as Elsa. Like there are times where I'm toned down, I'm just in like a sweater and no, not just the times that I'm in a sweater looking like Ariana Grande. There are times where I'm just in a sweater, you know, in sweats, kind of very chill and laid back, but still glam, um, glammed up, living my best life, living my truth. So I feel like when it comes to what it's like to go out as me it just really depends on the day but what it what it what it means to go out like in a costume because i'm obviously in an elsa costume like yeah there's there's people who are like looking but i wouldn't say most of the time it's in a derogatory manner like i don't feel like at least personally i think that there are times there are definitely times where people are like um what the hell is she doing like what in the world is going on but I don't know. I don't do it for anyone else. I do it for myself. I think it's a good time. I literally had so much fun in the theater getting to sing along to the songs. The theater was empty, so so it was just us. But, you know, there was just something really magical about being in an Elsa Luke and then also being able to sing along to all the Frozen 2, two bops. I do it for the girls and the gays. That's it. The queens and the queers, yeah, they're loving my shit. <laughs> But I wanted to touch on that because I feel like it made sense for this video. Anyways, I am hella tired and I need to go to sleep. 
So thank you for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below your thoughts and subscribe. See ya.